Namaste guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm, I will be showing you the final year project which I made as part of my academics. So my name is Siddhar Sangman. I have done my Bachelor of Technology from KIT Group of Institutions in Computer Science. So, so this was my project. So first of all, I shall run it in. I shall pass a command streamlit run. So after running it, after pressing enter, it will give me two URLs and it will open the project in Brave browser as it is the default browser. Since I want to run it in Chrome, so I will copy this link from here and paste it in a new page in Chrome. It shall take some time to load. Meanwhile, I shall tell you something about this project. So this project is Twitter sentimental analysis which will be calculating the sentimental value of the real-time tweets tweet. It will give us two values. First one is polarity, second one is subjectivity, which is calculated using text blob library. Polarity will give us the value from minus one to plus one. Minus a negative value will indicate it is a negative tweet or a bad tweet. Positive will indicate it, it, will be, it, it is a positive tweet. Not in the subjective opinion, but in the opinion uh, but but in the role that a negative word is present or a positive word is present in the tweet for example if there is a bad word present in the tweet then it will give us it is a negative tweet okay and vice versa the subjectivity will range from 0 to 1 because it is the completely objective opinion of a person it can't be it, it, it can't be negative so if it is very close to 1 then it is highly subjective it, if it is 0 then it is highly positive I will show you show you the examples as well First of all, I shall test this. If I write, it will compute the value and will give polarity zero, subjectivity zero. But if I, if I will write, I am a good boy, then it will give me polarity positive and subjectivity also positive because good is included. Right, I am a bad boy. Green I am. Then it should give me some sort of negative value in polarity, but subjectivity will be positive because it is an objective opinion of a particular person. Okay. Now, secondly, we have fetch from Twitter. Now, this will give us the real time tweets which are posted on Twitter on a particular word. For example, if I will enter good, so this is made using TweetPy. In order to use TweetPy, you have to made a you have to make your account on Twitter and an app on TweetPy. Okay. Click on scrap and analyze tweets. Now it will take some time to get the data. So when I enter good, all the recent tweets, all the recent 10 tweets on good are positive. There is no negative tweet, there is no neutral tweet. This is the tweet uh, pie graph. And these are the real time tweets and their usernames. For example, if there is if 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 good is included in a particular tweet like this, then it will show us the tweet. Also, if good is in someone's username, then it will show us. Then it will also show us that username. This is the processed tweet. Textbook helps us to process the tweets, which will remove stop words and all the unnecessarily used words in the tweet, and will only calculate the value based on the main words. Okay. Now, moving further, um, this interface was developed using Streamlit library of Python by which we can develop a apps like these okay thirdly if uh, if you want any uh, help regarding this project you may let me know in the comment box i have also made a research paper on it in which my friends and teacher helped me to get uh, out of it okay so i have made a report as well so if you want i may assist you with it thirdly um, I will also mention the code uh, which, which I have uploaded on GitHub in the description box. Thank you. Bye. Peace out.